Hey guys, so um, yesterday I told you that I thought this was going to be a very boring break because I had only been home for one day and I already read an entire book. Um, well, well, it's the next day, so I've been home for two days, and guess what? I've already read two entire books. Um, I read Judy Bloom's Forever, um, and I literally read it in like two hours. It was like 11 o'clock, um, and I was like... Um, I feel like reading, so I'm going to start a new book. Um, and it was a really short one, so I was like, okay, you know, I'll read some tonight, some tomorrow. I'll probably finish, like, tomorrow or the day after. But, like, it went like that. Like, I was reading, and, um, all of a sudden I was like, wow, I'm on, I'm on a page, I'm on page 100. I'm halfway done. Um, and then I looked at the time, and it was only 12, and I'm like, I've only been reading for an hour. I knocked out 100 pages in an hour. So I'm like, well, I can finish this book in another hour then. So I did. <laughs> Um, so now I only have two books left that I brought home with me to read. Um, they're both longer though. One of them's like, probably like 250, 300, no, probably closer to 300. Um, and the other one is like 500. So, um, I definitely think I'll have enough to keep me busy. Maybe. And they also won't go as quickly as this one. Like this one, like I read a hundred pages in an hour, but I won't do that. Like one of the other books is a Jody P. Colt book. I'm not going to read a hundred pages in an hour. I'm going to read like 50 pages in an hour. Maybe. Um, but yeah, so, um, I finished reading Judy Bloom's Forever, um, which I swore I thought I read when I was younger, but I definitely did not read this book when I was younger, because if I read this book when I was younger, I would have remembered, because, um, it's called Forever, but, um, one of the, one of the reviews I was reading said it might as well just be called My First Fuck, which, um, I thought was pretty funny, because pretty much, yeah, the entire book was, like, about, like, this girl, like, in high school, like, having sex pretty much. I mean, it wasn't, like, promiscuous. I mean, it was, like, with one guy, it was, like, her boyfriend, but it was about, like, her relationship with this guy, but mostly, like, her sexual relationship with this guy. But it had, like, a lot, of, like, a, like, a message to it, too. Like, you know, like, how when you're young, like, everything seems like the end of the world. Like, every fight, every breakup, you know, every bad grade seems like the end of the world. Um, but, you know, like, when you're older, you know, you realize that life does go on whether you want it to or not. Um, and basically, this realization comes from two things. One, experience. Two, because you read every single Judy Bloom book that was ever written when you were in middle school and high school, and that taught you to suck it up and deal with life, because that's pretty much how all of her books are. Yeah. Um, I feel like my webcam's kind of malfunctioning right now. I'm looking at myself, and, like, I think the picture's, like, behind the words. So I'm going to stop this, because I feel like... It's very possible that it's going to play back out of sync. It might play back in sync. Um, not Backstreet Boys, but in sync. Um, yeah, so, yeah, so, um, read the book if you haven't read it. Um, if you're in middle school, don't read it. You're too young. If you're in high school, um, I think you should read it. It's really good. Um, if you're in, like, college, read it. It's good. Um, yeah, or if you just want to, if you're older and just want to take a look back on how, innocent, or not so innocent, um, love was in high school. Um, read it. It was good. I knocked it out in two hours, literally. I'm sure you can probably do it much faster, um, because I'm not a very fast reader. Yeah, so that's it. Um, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.